is lovely glider lady shout out to them man shout out to them Shout out to them, man. Guy Ninja in the building, man. Guy Ninja. Yeah, man. That guy's a ninja. Uh. Yeah, he doing it right. As long as he stay on that motherfucker, he doing it right. Culturally appropriating ass. They just call culturally appropriating ass, man. Listen, let me let me show y'all. If one white person anywhere as as much as rolled their eyes about this, we'd be having a fucking online race war. Press one. If one white person anywhere, not even associated with the sport, as much as rolled their eyes about this, black people would be up in arms. Any one white person on the planet, let alone ex-players and journalists, if any white person on the planet as much as rolled their eyes about this, it would be hell to pay. That's black privilege. Black people are privileged. They hold a privileged place in society. They get to do things that others won't, don't. Black people get to do things that others don't because they're black. That is called privilege. The fact that we don't have to worry. <laughs> if somebody say something about this brother doing this rodeo shit, we just gonna say we was the first rodeos. Press one. We just gonna say we invented this shit. Now shut the fuck up. You, you stole our shit. It's really our shit. That's privilege. Chris G says, RIP DVK. That broke my heart at work watching that video. 
had me teary-eyed. This white queen walked into my guy and hugged me at that moment. A sister would have been like, sister would have been like, man, what the fuck, what you crying for? What your bitch ass crying for, nigga? That's what a sister would have did, man. It's like, nah, I'm just messing with y'all sister. sister. Sister's about to get mad. I'm fucking with y'all sisters. A sister wouldn't have did that. A sister would have just been like, damn, man, why don't you go in the break room, man? This shit a bad look, man. You got us looking crazy out here, nigga. Yeah, sister would have started a gay rumor about you. You'd have came to work the next day, niggas would have been looking at you like you was gay and shit. Sister would have started a vicious gay rumor about you and shit. Say nothing. <laughs> Black people hold a privileged place in society. We hold a privileged place in society. You better not say nothing about us entering your spaces and playing your sports. You bet not say a motherfucking word. Okay? And we'll march, man, we'll shut, man, if a white person re roll their eyes about this dude fucking doing rodeo, we'll shut that shit down. We'll shut that shit down. Yes, we, we'll make ESPN, we'll make the founders, of, we'll make whoever was in charge of this event. Whoever was in charge of this event will have to release a statement. Press one. <laughs> Whoever was in charge of this event would have to release a fucking statement, man. They will have to release a statement, my nigga. Whoever was in charge of this event would have to release a fucking statement apologizing and shit for some random white person somewhere that somebody saw who said something. And even when they found out it was a hoax, it would still have to be like, well, just in case. Well, even though it was proven to be a hoax, we still apologize because things like this happen. Things like this happen have been known to happen. Okay? We are privileged. We are a privileged group. And enjoy that privilege. Listen, man. There's nothing wrong with enjoying that privilege, man. Cop Black says, I got five on it. Messing with that in the weed. I got five on it.
Boy, I'm glad ain't no white people say nothing about this shit. Let me see. Let me see. This one says, you don't fight the horse. You go with the horse. See how loose it, and leaning back? That guy is good. As a white, I can confirm he is, in fact, doing it right. Cowboys started with, with people of color. You know that, right? <laughs> Yo, white people, y'all got to stop doing this shit, man. This right here, this one right here, don't never give them that, man. Cowboys, listen, cowboys didn't start with people of color. Many early cowboys were ex-slaves. When the slaves, because because that was slave hand work, taking care of horses and taking care of the pastures and taking care of the flocks and tending to the horses, their shoes, the stirrups and all that stuff. That was slave labor. So when slavery ended, a lot of slaves that, you know, went west, ex-slaves that went west already had those skills. And being good with a gun and all that stuff. Yes, many early cowboys were black, but they didn't start it. Stop saying stupid shit like that. You giving niggas fuel, man. That's like saying black people started the, um, as I said, black people built America and shit. Many early cowboys were were black, yes. Many early cowboys were black because they had the skills. They literally had all the skills of handling horses, tending the horses, tending the flocks. But stop saying this stuff. White people, I need a racist, I need a racist reply from one of you white people. Let me see. Um, it's not a white man's sport. Rodeo has many great cowboys of all different colors. And the kid made a good bare back ride. He rolled a full eight seconds out of the chute. He was spurring properly. He never touched his body with the free hand. Yep, very good ride. Pretty damn good to me. See how white people are, man. White people, if this was if this was reversed, black people would be fucking whining and shit and throwing having a conniption, a collective conniption about the fact that you was good at their sport. Press one. Chris G says, God, we lost Kobe and now DVK. God, please protect Ock and his beautiful two kids. Yeah, man, listen. Protect you and your glider woman, man. Protect everyone in Ock Nation, man. Yes. Checked everyone in in Ark Nation. We all take things take things one day at a time. DVK did, and DVK got seventy plus years out of life. DVK lived 70 plus years, man. So salute to DVK. 70 plus years of life, man. I'm looking for one of these white people to be racist, man.
Oh, this must be a a Chicano um, bull rider. This is a Chicano bull rider with a broken arm. With a broken arm, not even touching the horse. God, dog. he not even touching the horse. Damn. Wow. Wow, with a cigarette in his mouth, and the cigarette hasn't even fallen yet. I don't even think the cigarette has ashed yet. Wow. You talk. <laughs> you talk about a G. God, hey, that's a G right there, man. He didn't even, yo, the cigarette didn't even ash. I didn't even see the cigarette ash, let alone fall out of his mouth. Yo, that's a G. That's a G, man. The wide world of sports, man. Ox style, man. The Ock Nation wide world of sports. Shout out to the Ock Nation wide world of sports. Homie is a G. G status, you heard me? Straight G. That was a straight G, man. If you still hate Trump after this Biden shit show, your commitment to stupidity is impressive. It's DNA, man. DNA. Why are you asking just white people? There are many black cowboys and many of them rodeo. Carly Sampson was a champion bull rider. Ezekiel Mitchell, another great bull rider. Fred Woodfield, the champion cow roper. The list is longer than you think. Okay. 